Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Linda White Ryan. I'm I'm the Assistant Dean for the Graduate School of Social Service. And I welcome Reverend Father President McShane, Dr. Jacobs, Dean McPhee, faculty, Dr. Coffey, honored guests, graduates, family, and friends to the 2019 Fordham University Graduate School of Social Service Diploma Ceremony. At this time, we ask that you stand for the national anthem and the, in, and the, and the invocation. The national anthem will be sung by Michaela Williams, Lincoln Center 2019 class, and the invocation will be given by Dr. Michael C. McCarthy. <laughs> oh, say can you see What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallant. As we begin today, let us remember our Muslim brothers and sisters as they observe the holy month of Ramadan. May their practices of prayer and fasting bring them many blessings, and may their fidelity and perseverance be an example to all of us who hunger for justice, righteousness, and peace. Now let us bow our heads and pray. Lord, we remember the words of Jesus of Nazareth, that whatever you do for the least of my brothers or sisters, you do for me. And in remembering those words, we call to mind not only the dignity of service, but the call to profound solidarity with those who are hungry or thirsty, those who are strangers or in need of clothes, those who are sick or imprisoned or homeless or unemployed or incarcerated or suffering unjust discrimination. And we call to mind the great virtues of the profession, attentiveness to those in need, 
care for the vulnerable, sensitivity to those with least access to power and privilege. We are grateful, Lord, for everything you have given us. We rejoice in our families and loved ones who have supported us from the beginning up to this very moment. And we hope, oh, we devoutly hope, to make them proud in the years to come, even as we have in the years ahead. Bless them with a knowledge of our gratitude for their support. Bless the faculty, staff, and administration of Fordham's Graduate School of Social Service for their example, dedication, and care. And in this time of so much social division, make us healers. In this time of so much noisy contention, make us good listeners. In this time of uncommon enmity, make us visionaries of the common good, so that we may rise up to be prophets of a new light, sources of peace, and harbingers of a world ready to be consoled. In your holy name we pray, amen. Please be seated. Congratulations to the graduating class of 2019. Your commitment and tenacious efforts have brought you to this point. You all made it. You've done a wonderful job. And all of us at the Graduate School of Social Service are so very proud of each and every one of you. Now it is my distinct honor and privilege to introduce the Dean of the Graduate School of Social Service, Dr. Deborah McPhee. For the past six years, through her vision and leadership, Dr. McPhee, McPhee has created a culture of innovation that has moved GSS forward. She inspires those around her to be their best. And always at the center of all she does is her concern that students receive an education that is progressive and grounded in the core values so, so critically important to the profession. Dr. McPhee. Reverend Father President, Provost-elect, members of the University Administration and honored guests, thank you for your continued support of the Graduate School of Social Service and for joining our celebration this afternoon. I'd like to start by thanking a few other folks as well. Special recognition and appreciation, of course, go to our distinguished members of the GSS faculty who have educated, challenged, and nurtured our graduates throughout their studies. Thank you to the many GSS University staff and administrators who often work tirelessly behind the scenes and uh, certainly had their tremendous efforts to put this ceremony together today. The diploma ceremony, our celebration, are greatly appreciated, so thank you. And of course, few of us would ever reach our goals or realize our dreams without the love and support of those that are closest to us. I ask everyone to please join me in extending our sincere and help, heartfelt appreciation to all of the loving friends and family who have been champions of our graduates every step. And now to the class of 2019, welcome to graduation. 
It is really my honor and privilege to be Dean of the Graduate School of Social Service. Our school has thrived for more than 100 years because of the passionate and the compassionate students such as yourselves that came before you. You are all now part of the legacy of GSS and of Fordham, and we couldn't be more proud. Ceremonies like today serve as tangible markers and significant transitions in our lives. They provide us a brief pause in the present, an opportunity to look back on the journey, and how we've got to where we are, and to anticipate what might lie, might lie ahead. For many of us up here on this stage, it didn't seem so long ago that we were sitting in your seats, <laughs> looking towards the future with this equal measure of excitement and uncertainty. Shocked by how fast it actually went, even with the long nights and all those papers and all those challenging field, days in the field placements. But in the end, you arrive at this day realizing that your sense of shelf, self has been reshaped, your sense of others has changed and has really transformed your life. At so, as social workers, we know that personal transformation isn't really possible without some structural transformation without access to resources, to education, to new experience, and to opportunity. Presently, we're reminded at every turn that we live with structural transformation happening all around us. We're living in really unprecedented times of change, socially, politically, economically, technologically, and environmentally. As social workers and citizens, it's important that we position ourselves as participants of change and not as passive recipients or bystanders. History's, history has taught us this lesson too many times. Such significant change breeds uncertainty and with it comes fear and anger. Fear is often the weapon of choice used by some privileged and some powerful that make us believe that the blame for the uncertainty we're experiencing is on the other, is because of the other. From here, the justification of oppression becomes an easy sell. All too soon, we find ourselves living in a world where small refugee children are considered threats to national security, while poverty, racial profiling, and the dismantling of public education is not. Over 50 years ago, Martin Luther King Jr. called upon us to be greater as a people and greater as a nation. His message is as significant now as it was in 1968. As global citizens, it's critical that we don't let ourselves or assist others in accepting or adapting to a new rationalizing of injustice. As professionals, we can use our collective voice and prevent the clock from being turned back on many of the hard-won freedoms and, and rights. I believe we owe this commitment to act, to those who came before us, to those you will serve, and to each other. Graduation doesn't turn you into professionals. You all did that yourselves with all of those long nights and all those hard work that you, you've already done. And it will, you will continue to transform with each time you act on your commitment and fight injustice and serve others. Many of you yourselves have overcome great difficulties and incredible odds to get to this very day. Your strength and your commitment fuels my optimism for the future of our profession, and I really mean that. I have every confidence that you have everything that you need to go out and make a positive and profound impact on the world. I'm really, and I know my colleagues join me in being really grateful that the Graduate School of Social Service was part of that journey of yours, if, if not for, only for a little, a little while. Please know that as a school, as a university, and as your colleagues, we will always be here to support you. We'll always rejoice in your success, and we'll always welcome you home as often as we can. Congratulations to the class of 2019. And now, Dr. Dennis Jacobs, Fordham University Provost-Elect, will introduce our keynote speaker.
It is my privilege to introduce Dr. Darla Spence Coffey, President and Chief Executive Officer of the Council on Social Work Education. CSWE is the National Association for Social Work Education, representing over 800 accredited undergraduate and graduate programs of professional social work. Through its many programs and initiatives, CSWE promotes emerging technologies, interprofessional education, and innovative models of teaching and practice to advance social work education. Prior to her appointment as CSWE president in 2012, Dr. Coffey served as a professor of social work, associate provost, and dean of graduate studies at Westchester University. She received her Bachelor of Social Work degree from Eastern College, her Master of Social Work degree from the University of Pennsylvania, and her PhD from Bryn Mawr College Graduate School of Social Work and Social Research. She has an extensive background in social work practice and research in the areas of mental health, substance abuse, and domestic violence. More recently, she has been advancing the cause of provider well-being and leadership. She's a nationally recognized author and speaker, a distinguished fellow in the National Academy of Practice, and the 2017 recipient of the Advocate for Human Rights Award by the Mandel School of Applied Social Sciences at Case Western Reserve University. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Coffey. Good afternoon. I am so deeply honored to have been invited to be here and share this moment with you. I will say that I was imagining a bit more intimate environment um, than we've got here, but it's just so nice to see the room full of social workers and those that have supported social workers. And by the way, your job's not done. We're going to need to continue. We're going to need to continue to ask you to support social workers. This is such a momentous occasion in the life of you, you're the students, the graduates here, graduating from the prestigious Fordham University Graduate School of Social Service. Thank you, Dean McPhee, for your generous and gracious invitation to be involved in this important event in the life of the school and of the students. I know the school, social work programs here at Fordham. I know your dean, and I know several of your faculty. Many, many leaders in the social work education and higher education fields. And I know that you have received a top-notch education. And I also know that they don't give this, dis this degree away to just anybody. You have earned it, blood, sweat, tears, coffee, prayers, you name it. So congratulations. So I join the faculty here at the school in saying job well done, and I join your families, friends, and loved ones in saying you make us proud. Personally, I am thrilled to welcome this army of new social workers to the world because Lord knows we need you and you've got your work cut out for you. When I let friends and colleagues know that I have been asked to speak at your commencement, I actually ended up getting a lot of unsolicited advice, some suggestions about what kinds of things I should pass on to you, the graduates. But I'm figuring at this point, you've probably had your fill of advice. So I'm actually not going to go there. Instead, I'm going to offer some ideas that might be helpful to you in the days ahead. And I'm actually going to end by asking a couple of favors of you. So stay tuned. They're actually quite connected, as you'll see. And by the way, this conversation is between you and I, between the graduates and I. So it's great that we've got friends and family and loved ones here in the room. Please listen in. We want you to do that. But this conversation is between you, me and you, the graduates. First, I'd like to be able to offer some ways to answer that inevitable question. So what is social work? 
or what do social workers do? My guess is that you've already heard that question numerous times. In any case, I'm going to bet that you haven't heard the last of it. I would like to offer some ways to answer that, to respond to that question, because the way that we respond to that question is really important to the field of social work as well as to the world. So I want to start with um, drawing on that parable that you, many of you have probably heard. It's been linked to many religious traditions um, across the world, but it's about the blind men and the elephant. So six blind men were asked to determine what an elephant looked like by feeling different parts of the elephant's body. The blind man who felt a leg said, well, the elephant's like a pillar. The one who felt the tail said, no, the elephant's more like a rope. The one who felt the trunk said, the elephant is like a tree branch. So you get what I'm saying here. Someone stepped in and said, actually, all of you are right. The reason every one of you is telling it differently is because each of you has touched a different part of the elephant. So actually, the elephant has all of those features that you've mentioned. This is kind of like what I think of social work, because the kind of social worker that people encounter tends to define the social work profession for that individual. So if someone hears about or encounters a social worker do, working in the child welfare system, they think, oh, OK, so that's what social workers do. On the other hand, if someone encounters a clinical social worker, a community organizer, a researcher, an advocate, a program administrator, they think that's what social workers do. But we need to spread the message that we are all of them. The versatility of the social work degree is one of the, its greatest strengths. Personally, I've enjoyed a long and varied career as a social worker. I worked within the child welfare system, with adjudicated delinquent boys in an alternative school, with survivors of domestic violence and their children in a domestic abuse shelter, in an adolescent psychiatric facility, an addiction treatment center, as an individual and family therapist, as a faculty member, as the director of a social work education program, as an associate provost, as a provost, and now as the president and CEO of the Council on Social Work Education. And in every one of those positions, people knew me as a social worker, even in those positions when social work was not the first thing that came to mind. When I was the acting provost at Westchester University, the faculty at that university knew that there was a social worker in the house. And the way in which I went about doing my job was from that particular lens and that perspective. And that's what I'm asking you to carry with you. I actually like confusing people a little bit when they say social workers, but I thought social workers did X, Y, or Z, then it gives me an opportunity to educate them about all the different things and all the skills that we bring to bear in what we do. I like to be able to shake up assumptions about what it means to be a social worker, and I encourage you to embrace the opportunities to do the same as they come your way, because they will. This leads into a second issue that I wanted to touch on. Please, please do not let yourselves be defined by the job that you do. While job descriptions are important, they should not define nor confine who you are and what you do. Let yourself get comfortable living outside of the box. Don't get lulled into thinking that you need to choose whether to be a direct practice social worker or a policy-oriented social worker. Being a social worker means that you're always thinking on several levels. You may be working with an individual, but you're thinking about and engaging the systems in which that individual lives, works, and plays. His or her family, the community, programs in which they're involved or receiving services. You're aware of, and if need be, advocate for change in those policies that impact them at the local, state, and federal levels. If you're in a position to direct a program or shape a policy, be sure to think about how it affects people receiving those services. Always be thinking about how it shapes the experiences of people on the ground. 
There's not any one or two or even three kinds of social workers. We're not divided into different camps. It just happens that social workers are prepared to do lots of different things. So let's just spread that message and confuse people and educate them about us. The last piece of um, this story that I wanted to, to offer here is to help you think about the skill set the social workers bring to bear when they come, when they show up. And to illustrate that point, I want to share something that I heard on the radio some years back. So you know it was a while ago because it was the radio that I was listening to. But I was driving to work and a um, disc jockey was going on some kind of a riff about, um, well, you know, when people say, well, I know how to do that. I mean, it's not like it's rocket science. The disc jockey heard himself say, and say that and thought, gee, I wonder what rocket scientists say in those circumstances. Because they can't say, well, it's not rocket science. So the DJ ended up getting some staff on this job um, and found um, a rocket scientist and asked the rocket scientist, so what do you say in these kinds of circumstances? And the rocket scientist said, well, it's not brain surgery. So you know where this goes, right? So the disc jockey said, okay, so what do brain surgeons say in these circumstances? So the staff went to find a brain surgeon, got the brain surgeon on, on, on the line and said, under these circumstances, what do you say? And the brain surgeon said, well, it's not like it's astrophysics. So one more round, went to find an astrophysicist to find out what astrophysicists say in these circumstances. And that person said, well, it's not like it's working with people. And that's what we do, right? This working with people is not easy business. It might come naturally to some people, but that doesn't mean it's easy or and it's not going to stay easy. Sometimes it's actually quite challenging, it's messy, it's complex. And it happens that I'm in a lot of circles where this skill set that I'm talking about is, is referred to as the soft skills. I don't know exactly what that means, but I don't think it's a compliment. It's not a hard skill, though no, what's the hard skill? Like fixing a computer or a carburetor? I'm not exactly sure. But when I hear somebody refer to these soft skills, it's like they're not quite as important. Well, I beg to differ. There is nothing soft about listening to someone grieve the, love of a lo the loss of a loved one. There is nothing soft about assisting people who've been victimized to find their voice and their power. There is nothing soft in creating a startup that fills a need that's been overlooked. There is nothing soft about making sure that your research includes the voices of those with lived experience. There is nothing soft about expecting that services be fair and equitable for all people. And there's certainly nothing soft about pointing out that a person, a program, or a policy is discriminatory. Those are hard things to do, and we need to do them. So now for the favors that I wanted to ask of you. First, I started out talking about all the things that social workers do. One of the things that I've observed over time is that as soon as a social worker gets a position, title, that is anything but social worker, they start calling themselves a researcher, a faculty member, a therapist, a provost, you name it. What I'm asking you to do is to identify yourself as a social worker no matter what you end up doing. I can't tell you how important that is because that is the way that we can let the world know what the social work profession brings, the value that we have. Um, it is it's just so important and it kills me when I find people who are, have left their social work identity at the door. Um, so, so really, help us out with that. The other thing that I wanted to talk to you about is the importance of taking care of yourself as you do your work. 
you're going to actually need to make sure that this is part of your job description. Because the work, and you already know this, the work can get quite challenging. So make sure that you take time to feed your soul, feed your bodies, and I don't mean just the food, but the exercise, like really take care of yourself. Surround yourself with people that love you, that you love back. Surround yourself with people that care about you. Surround yourself with people who have the same values that you do. And also invite some people who, in, who are different because those are the ways in which we continue to grow. But taking care of yourself as we do social work is so vitally important because the truth is that if you want to have an effect on someone or on a system, you have to stay close enough to be affected by that person and by that system. And sometimes that, quite frankly, just hurts. It can get depressing, it can get sad, it can get frustrating. But if we decide to step back, we lose our effectiveness and we, we, we deprive the person and the system that we're working with of the relationship that's going to help them move to that next level. So the work requires you to stay close, and in order for you to stay close, you're gonna need to take, figure out ways to take care of yourself. So please do that, and help us all continue to do that. Bring in friends that are social workers, be willing to call them when they're not taking care of themselves. We need to really support ourselves in this effort. So I really thank you for indulging me in the thoughts. <laughs> thank you for joining the social work profession. It's a wonderful profession. I can't wait to see what you're going to do and how you're going to change the world in any number of ways. Family, friends, and loved ones, thank you for the support that you have offered your students. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dr. Coffey, for that wonderful message. I would now like to introduce our student speaker, Kara Lee Byron, Class of 2019, Lincoln Center. Good afternoon, everyone. Father McShane, Dean McPhee, Dean White Ryan, faculty, honored guests, families, friends, and the class of 2019. I am incredibly honored and humbled to stand before you here today. I stand here with so much gratitude for my life, my family, for my education, and for all of you, my peers and professors who have supported all of us through this eye-opening journey. I ask that you consider these questions. How has your graduate school journey shaped your outlook on life? And how does your outlook on life contribute to creating social change and making an impact? There's someone in your life, someone whose words replay in your mind over and over again. That person may be a relative, a friend, a teacher, a classmate, maybe even yourself. This is someone who has profoundly shaped your outlook on life or impacted the course of action you've chosen to take and ultimately the string of choices that have led you to the very seat you're sitting in. My someone inspired me to follow my hopes and dreams. He inspired me to stand on this podium despite how nervous I am of public speaking. <laughs> he encourages me to never settle but to instead take charge of my life. He's taught me to think about the impact I want to make and how to create my own definition of success. The someone I so proudly get to look at right now as I give this speech. Let me share an important life lesson that I learned long ago. A lesson, or rather, an approach to life that my someone, my dad Mark, shared with me. <laughs> at a very early age, 
my dad imparted on myself and my two sisters his unique philosophy on life, which he called Byron's Law of the Four Ps. Preparation, persistence, passion, and purpose. He explained that utilizing this framework for which to engage with and face every aspect of your life, you will go far, both personally and professionally. Through each transition, hardship, and achievement I've encountered, and in any environment I find myself walking into, I consciously think about how my actions and my outlook on life encapsulate the four Ps. As social workers, we help people overcome some of life's most difficult challenges. Poverty, loss, discrimination, mental health, physical illness. Policies will unfortunately not always operate within a human rights framework, and it is our responsibility to speak up and advocate, whether it's on a micro, meso, or macro level. We are the doers that will create long-term outcomes. We use a holistic person and environment approach to help prevent crises and provide the tools and strategies to cope more effectively with the intense stressors of everyday life. Although we each had different motivations and goals and a story or a personal experience that brought us to social work, we all share a commonality. We are advocates, problem solvers, change agents and leaders. We are courageous. We are on the quest to not only promote social and economic justice, but we are on the quest to demand social change. During the first semester of our foundation year, an esteemed professor asked us to conduct a needs assessment. We were challenged to explore and critically think about how to engage students within the Fordham GSS community. What is the need here and how can we work towards implementing it? At the time, I didn't realize it, but this was preparation and action. And like my dad says, there is no substitution for preparation. It was then that my classmates and I discussed what it means to be in graduate school, working for a master's degree. We concluded, it means balancing your personal responsibilities, caring for your family or raising children, and having one or even two jobs, along with the countless hours of field and dedication to your education and academic studies. The need was to create a platform where we can gather, share with one another, learn with leaders, network with leaders and alumni in the field, and learn about each other's passions. I turned to my cohort, both peers at school and friends in my life, and came up with an idea. The outcome was called LEAP, Lead, Empower, Act with Purpose. We fundraised and proposed this event series to the Fordham administration. LEAP's platform provided a togetherness a creative modality to bring the Fordham GSS and social work community at large together. This was the second P, persistence. Fordham closes because of a snowstorm on the same day we have speakers flying in from other states to speak at a LEAP event. We took that energy and a bit of bad luck and turned it into an even stronger and grander event. We persisted despite the odds because, well, you're right, Dad, persistence makes a difference. In attending a prestigious university, such as Fordham, we've been privileged by the opportunity to mobilize resources and excel in the inclusive and enriching learning environments that our faculty and mentors have provided. I'd like to think of our journeys in graduate school as a profound influence on our development and outlook on life but I'd also like us to recognize the hurdles we've jumped and the bridges we've crossed to be sitting in these seats here today. As we think about our own obstacles during graduate school, let's take a moment to thank our families, our friends, and members of the Fordham community for their unwavering support and motivation to keep pushing forward. Expressing gratitude for the people who have supported you through this journey is extremely important. However, more importantly is thanking yourself, giving yourself a moment to shine, 
to be proud, to lift up your head and say, wow, I just did this. There's that third P, the passion. We will make a mark on this world and create the social change that this world needs. Our skills will only grow with time and contribute to the base of our profession. And here we have the fourth P, purpose. My hope is that you can take this opportunity to not only honor this incredible achievement, but also to honor your someone for the life lessons they've ingrained in you. I'd like to thank my family for your unconditional love and support always. Mom, Dad, Jenna, Lex, you're the reason I am standing here today. Graduate school has changed who I am because it's been a transformative chapter of personal growth that has allowed me to understand and experience the depth of life with you by my side. I am sure you're each thinking, finally, Kara's conquered her fear of public speaking. Lastly, I would like to pass on my dad's law of the four Ps to all of my fellow classmates. This outlook on life encourages, uh, encourages us to approach our practice and our profession with confidence. Let's celebrate this accomplishment, this honor, and this privilege. Always remember to be purposeful, passionate, prepared, and persistent in whatever you aspire to do and wherever your journey may take you. Thank you again, and congratulations to the class of 2019. And now for a very important moment, the presentation of the diplomas. Each social work student will receive a diploma and then you will receive a gift of a pin that is very significant. It's welcoming, welcoming you into the social work profession. Just one more minute. first present diplomas to the PhD students. I would like to call Dr. Gregory Farmer to the podium, the director of the PhD program. Okay, you're going to stand over there with Deborah and I'm going to call their names. Catherine Louise Cummings. Her chair is Dr. Anita Lightburn. Okay, perfect.
Patricia Elizabeth Dawson. Her chair is Dr. Lightburn. Young Hee Hun, chair is Dr. Amy Horowitz. Jamie Jones, Dr. Anita Lightburn is the chair. Christine Lamone, the chair is Dr. Carol Cox. Yishuan Wang, the chair is Dr. Fuha Zai. <laughs> Gina Williams. Her chair is Dr. Shirley Gattanio Gable. <laughs> you young. Her chair is Dr. Fuha Zai. <laughs> Pinar Zubar Oglu, her chair is Dr. Marciana Pescu. Okay. Congratulations to all the doctoral graduates. I would now like to call Dr. Gregory Acevedo, Acevedo, who is the director of the Bachelor of Arts in Social Work program. Xanthi Ortega.
And now we will call the Master of Science in Nonprofit Leadership, Megan Borg. Jeffrey Garcia. Karen Hoffman. Desiree L. Lewis. Tiffany Lloyd. Corey Punter. Jamel Robinson. Sarah Warnock. And thank you to Brigitte Keller, who is the director of that program. Now we will call the MSW students to the stage. Amanda Abdel Dayam. Abdul Aziz Abdul Rahman. <laughs> Trisha Absalom Graham. Rachel Aiden. Diana K. Aguilar. Nake Seobang Akpan. Maglani Alcantara. Brianna Alejandro. Aishi Aisha Alexi. Jocelyn Alicia. Chloe Aleem. De Desi Allison. Maria Camilla Almanzar. Yasserina Almanzar. Isabel Alvarado. Yana Alvarez. Julia Amoroso. Lakeisha Anderson. Valerie Anderson, Pamela Andrews, Kara Anglin, Pamela Apia, Solaris Aquino, Martha. Veronica Arellano. Ariana Arias. Suntis Arif Umer. Abigail Asper. McKenna Atherall. 
Alexis Austin. Catherine Bagley. Rondi D. Barnes. Daniel Barone. Valerie Barrett. Amanda Barron. Amanda Barry. Jeanette Batista. Andrea Bauer. Camille F. Batista. Johanna Catherine Baxter. Melissa Buzidlo. Victoria Beery. Renee Bulez. Natasha One moment, please. I don't have a Renee. I don't have a Renee. Hold on. Renee Beckles. <laughs> Natasha Behai. Allison Bell. Jessica Balia. Hannah Bellinger. LaShonda Bellinger. Suzanne Bennett. Yvette Benson. Alexandria Benzi. Nakita Bernard. Betsy Birnbaum. Gladys Berrios. Devin Bibb. Carolyn Blair. Eve Blazo. Jasmine Bonilla. Kayanne Bowen. Morgan Bowers. Lauren Brinkers. Jessica Britvich. Kayla Brock. Vanessa Brooks. Adam Brown. Joyce Brown. Linnell Brown. Maya Brown. Monica Bruno.
Jessica Bruno Matlack. Chanel Bryant. Stephanie Buckman. Marie Boudreau. Marnie Boudreau. Justine Burns. Dorothea Charmaine Burr. Laverne Butler. John Byrne. Kara Lee Byron. Eva. Eva Caceres. Z Zijong Hai. Anne Elizabeth Callahan. Samuel Colzada Jr. Cindy Camacho. Stephanie Camacho. Courtney Cameron. Kiana Campanzano. Jocelyn Conchana Berrios. Jody Kaplan. Claudia Cardona, Jessica Cardenas, Jacqueline Carano, Jennifer Carroll, Alan Deshawn Carson. Nikita Carter. Courtney Page Casey Mel. Michelle Castellanos. Gina Castellania. Danielle P. Victoria Kane. Oh, hold up. Gina Castellonia. Danielle P. Victoria Coyne. Alexandria Rose Saravolo. Zachary Champion. Wing Hei Chian. Marisol Chaparro. Florence Chareka Moyo.
Natasha Chimbala. Kristen Charles. Hope Choman. Anila Chowdhury. Caitlin Christiana. Isla Christmas. Talcia Chronicle. Aisha Cisse. Cody, and her diploma will be presented by Bennett Polaji, Fordham Graduate School of Arts and Science, in 1988. Jacqueline Cuelho. Natasha Colon. Vanessa Como. Paola Contreras. Eric Burns Cooper. Nike Kore, Allison Cormier, Aline Corolas, Kendra Cowley, Deborah Christ. Brittany Lorraine Crockett. Johanna Cruz. Melissa Cueto. Joseph James Caluso. Grace Cunningham. Elaine Daly. Erica Daniels. Jamari Daniels. by Madeline Rodriguez, MSW 2006, her sister. Mother, mother! She looked like her sister. Shantasia Dantry. 
Jasmine De La Rosa, Taylor De Clerk, Catherine De Fiore, Nicole Del Hagen, Christina De Luca Torres. Alyssa Di Stefano, Sarah Diane, Jennifer Diaz, Leonis Diaz, Scott Joseph Diaz. Jennifer Del Bella, Tammy M. Dickerson, Stephanie Diggs, Lisa Del Salvo. Rebecca Dominique Dominguez. Stephen Donahue. Shannon C. Dorsey. Asia Monet Downer. Adita Dram, Drahaim. Irene Droney. Annette Dubose. Sheila Scar. Dugan, and she will be presented her diploma by her husband, Andrew Dugan. Tanine Duger. Lindsay Ionello. Sarah, Sarah Ebnadi. Ashley Jasmine Edwards. Charles Edwards. Michelle Erler. Kathy Alyssa Claremont. Priscilla Ellis. Sandra Ellison. Elizabeth Emilano. Margaret Enright. Alexa Iring. Ileana Furman. Brianna Ferretti. Danielle Featherman. Danielle Figueroa. Amanda Lee Finn.
Jesse Flowers, Stephen Floyd, Tatiana Forster, Theus Fortune, Ashley Foster, Marcus Fox, Brian Freeman, Carolyn Funky, Natasha Galasso, Elizabeth Rose Galiza, Joselle Galloway, Jeremiah Garcia, Sharon Shannon Garrido, Lauren Gasparini, Tamara Gale, Leanne Gelber, Gabriella Haynow, Nicole Gigliotti, Wanda Ginch will be presented her diploma by Thomas Ginch, Fordham College at Rose Hill, 2015. Husband? What is it? Catherine Ashley Ginsburg. Augustina Krakow. Trina Goiko. Leslie Golden. Shira Goldstein. Erica Gonzalez. Kenneth Gonzalez. Marcos Gonzalez. Jadalis Gonzalez. Haley Gordon. Bailey Grant. Dominique Grant. Amanda Green. Adam Greenberg. Claude C.J. Green. Erica Ann Green. Sierra Greggs. Monica Griffin. Tiona Griffin. Latasha Griffin. Pablo Guerrero. Yabalis Guerrero. Alessandro Guermares. Elsa 
kweti. Maret Guerin. Estefany Guzman. Marari Guzman. Jennifer Hastrap. Chelsea Hannock. Delcy Harding. Victoria Harris. Janelle Hartley. Dwayne Harvey Gatewood. Jaquina Haynes. Michael Heaven. Markeisha Hendricks. Megan Hermanowski. Antoinette Hayward. Siobhan Hicks. Joel Hildago Rodriguez. <laughs> Tiffany Hall. Crystal Angelina Hodge and her degree will be presented by Muriel Maxwell, her mother, GSS 2009. Ashland Holland, Brittany Ann Howard, Shaziza Hussein, Bean Hutchins, Antoinette Hyde. Kelly Huvain. Rena Ingram. Marissa Juanette Jacobs. Chad Jagan. Monique Jarvis. Miriam Jean Philippe. Philip. Sheila Jean. Siobhan Jenkins. Victoria Jenkins. Nicole Marie Jezirin. Arlene Jimenez. Alicia Johnson. Dectra Johnson. <laughs> Sophia Joseph. <laughs> Keisha Joseph. <laughs> Shanisa Joyner. 
Rajin Julian. Zanida Usik. Victoria Kalanina. Anissa Kandich. Eliana K. Monique Kernison. Julie Kilroy. Linda Kim. Kristen Kimmel. Amber King. Rebecca Cornell. Nicole Kraus. Michael Cousy. Amaryllis LaBoy. Miranda Lacombe. Rachel Lalane. Michelle Lamartine. Brianna Lapegna. Darlene LaRose. Victoria Lawson. Stephanie Latiz. Angeline Laufer Swaller. Donna Lawrence. Adeline Lacanti. Alyssa Lanahan. Alexandra Leon. Catherine Leonard. Wendy Lepper. Nina Leventon. Ashley Levine. Allison Levy. Rixa Levy. Jamir Alexandra Linares. Eileen Lombardi. Teresa Long. Crystal Lopez. Georgia Lachlan. Daphne Lewis. Junior Lewis. Guadalupe Luna. Maribel Luna. Crystal Lusk. Go ahead. Maya Brown. Bobby Cherie Mabry. Martha Mai Reyna. Ma Lan Son. Shelly Ann Malasan. Shelly Ann Malasan. Oh, sorry. 
Toto Nian Malcolm. Tarinka Maladoran Cole. Erica Malasala. Alana Malascalco. Kelly Mara. Marisa Ann Marinelli. Allison Marino. Alexander Mariska. Katrina Martinez. Melanie Mayer. Dahlia Mayerson. She's being presented, her diploma's being presented by her mother, class of 2015. Karen Mayo. Chantelle Maurice. Sabrina Malazcolo. Megan McCabe. Catherine McCarthy. Kamisha McDonald. Amy McDonald. Jeffrey McKay. Jacqueline McLaughlin. Melody McMahon, Scott McMillan, Latoya McNewton, Shanika Melville, Selena Mirza, Abby Malin. Joanne Mazil. Crystal Lee Millen. Allison Millen. Alexandra Miller. Michelle Lynn Miller. Charday Miller. Rosanna Minya, Tashana Mitchell, Gardinia Molina, Roani Molina. Angelica Molinari. Teresa Malloy. Marilyn Monroy. Giselle Montefiore. Tanisha Moore. Nazareth Mara. Kayla Crystal Morales. Sarah Moran. Francette Morant. Anna Carolina Morera Afonso. Marta Morse. 
Shanika Morris. Do diplomas being presented by Tara Broswell at MS 2002. I guess. Flavia Muka. Essa Murillo. Renisha Myers. Tony Ann Napolitona. Heather Neary. She has it. Michelle Nelson being presented by her sister Dolores Munoz, Fordham University College of Liberal Arts, 2009. Nadine Nelson. Dung Nguyen. Kristen Nichols. Angela Eleanor Negro. Tyler Nolan. Yamelet Nunez. Jason O'Connor. Megan O'Connor. Abigail Ott. Ashley Ortez Rothschool. Uh, Amara Ortiz. What am I playing? What am I doing? Julia Otero. Karen Onza Arsena. Amy Pace. Clarence Charles Jardinua Paste. Nagli Pacheco. Samantha Pacheco. Sybil Palm. Andrea Pantoja. Francesca Paparone. Jamie Papathumalopoulos. Melanie Papaturdili. Shakima Parkin Harrison. Leona Parks. Jessica Para. Allison Parulo. Sabina Paul. Angela Perez. Dina, Diana Perez. Taylor Peters. Haley Peterson. Stephen Everett Peterson. Jessica Fon. Christina Pierre, being diploma being presented by her husband, Abdul Luke Pierre, Fordham University School of Law, Lincoln Center, class of 2001. <laughs> Woody Jean Pierre. <laughs> Ashley Pinto. 
Gina Piper. Debbie Prada Pitts. Shemiqua Polite. Robin Pollock. Desiree Palanaris. Adrian Popovich. Darlene Polsey. We have Powell. Matthew Prakup. Gabrielle Orana Prince. Kelly Puckett. Marilyn Quintanella. Nicole Page Ratchlin. Chanel Rafferty. Sharice Ramos. Shana Ramasamuj. Rashida Ross. Talaya Reddick. Crystal Reddick Polar. Romeo Redwood Jr. Sharice Reed. Monisha Ray. Alicia Reynolds. Nicole Kat Ryan. Amanda Ricciatelli. Grace Rice. Davante Richards. Catherine Richards. Keith A. Richardson. Amy Ricotta. Cardia Ridora. Annabelle Rivas. Maria Camille Rivera Montoya. Rennie Rivera. Cassandra Roberts. Francely Rodriguez. Is presented. Is it on her card? Who? Laura? It's Laura, Laura. Adriana Rodriguez Simons. No, I have Laura Rodriguez Simons. Simons, yeah. Is it to say her husband? No, it doesn't. Okay. Laura Rodriguez Simons. Francely Rodriguez. Natalie Rodriguez. Matthew Ragaki. Deanna Rojas Luna. Yesel Rojas. Leticia 
Rosa being presented by Jose B. Rivera, Lincoln Center, Class of 1994. Mildred Rosado. Stephanie Rosenberg. Pantranella Ross. Melissa Rotante. Janine Salvatore. Janine Salvatore. Jennifer Samboy Suarez. Siobhan Salmon. Christina Samuels. Vanessa Samuel Steinmetz. Heidi Sanchez. Michelle Alba Santana. Lynette Santos. Alyssa Sargent. Gabrielle Sheraldi being presented by her cousin, Bovina Danello. Class of 2002 Graduate School of Education. Dina Schofield. Katherine Schreiber. Michael Swartz. Gabriella Skyalis. Marissa Scotti. Andrea Servan. Rainy Morina Sevicious. Caitlin Lucille Schulp. Connor Sick. Jennifer Seaman. Janelle Silva. Michelle Silva Mera. Scout Simons. Casey Simselli. Kenefi Simon Hey Jahid. GSS, okay. Megan Simplicio being presented by Mildred Simplicio, GSS, class of 2017. Brianna Singh. Casey Sinha. Jacqueline Slagale. Lakeisha Smalls. Maggie Smith. Zanique Smith. Marina Sneed. Courtney Steppelford. Corey Stepek. Jared Stern. Barcia Stewart. Jennifer Stosh. GSS 
recess faculty, Dr. Virginia Strand. Okay. Sophie Strand being presented by her mother, Virginia Strand. Abigail Stoltz. Melody Suarez. Maggie Sakinas. Amalia Servano. Catherine Tegua. Marissa Rose Tamburo. Christine Tarafa. Is Delis Tavares being presented by her aunt, Miguelas Buenas, class, GSS class of 2003? Oh, 2003, eh? Mazir Tejada. Ashley Telesco. Danielle Tarrigan. Shanika Thomas. Emily Thomas. Christopher Thorpe. Lusania Tefa. Lus is that Lusania Tefa? Andrea Tillman. And then Luzana Tefas. And then Luzana Tefas? I, I don't know. No, it's Vincent Tinarello oh. now. Vincent Tinarello. I don't know who that is. Christiana Torres. <laughs> Megan Townsend. Jennifer Terulio Armenio. Bradley Tucker. I think you might, did you call her maybe? Oh, no. Right Sharon Ternagi. <laughs> Gitty Taroski. As Asia Tyler. Genesis Orena. I did. So just throw her in. Jocelyn Urena. Connie Urgelis. Melissa Urias. Yvonne Yushek. <laughs> Sylvia Ushka. Jennifer Vargas. Kashana Valva. Amy Veliz. Chantal Ventura. Andre Vidal Kaufman. Jacqueline Velabos. 
Eleanor Ann Viracalo, Chevita Vintello Alvarado, Amanda Marion Wallace, Eric Malcolm Washington Jr. Shauna Weiss, Tiandra Wiggins, Roseanne Wilcox, Tashika Wilson, Taylor Cole Will, Alicia Williams. Charmaine Williams, Michaela Williams, Oren Williams, Gabrielle Wilson. Prince Aaliyah Wilson, Oprah Wilshire, Jane Winsett, Ren Renee Wint, Rachel Wiss, Edward Worth. Bo Chang Shu, Elizabeth Yanis, Jay Wong Yang, Liana Zulich, Nodia Zwainer. Cecilia Philippine, Juleen Huggett, Lorena Santana, Jocelyn Pichardo, Marta Balog. Veronica Clark, <laughs> Stephanie Rivera, Gabriela Vivar, Danielle Currier, Shashira Herrera. Rafael Roja Rodriguez, Rafael Roja Rodriguez, Daniela De La De Delgado. Daniela Delgado, oh, Sonia Andres, Alania Chapman, Christina Calderon, Sean Ramathan. Bridget Hager present her diploma presented by her sister Katie Hogar Graduate School of Education 2018. <laughs> Natasha Service.
Emma Cianci, Catherine Rella, Gilbert Bell, Madeline Estevez, Feme Dukan, Monica Hernandez, Deanna Chin, Chibuzo Odocha, Linda, who's that? Diana Chin. Jessica Alasina Jimenez. Rosita Marinez. Angelique T. Frederick. And then who is this, Linda? Evelyn Amaris Almanares. Kessely Murray. You have to show this part of that stuff at the end. Yoliza and Ros Rosana Cabrera. Lindsay, I'm gonna need the car need the um, diplomas. Linda. Dawn Drew. Kimberly DeBell. Rosita Marinas. Kelsey Murray. Siobhan Denise Givens. Rochelle N. Eversley. Brent Peterkin. I'd like to introduce Dr. Michael E. Griffin, Associate Vice President of Alumni Relations. He will welcome the graduates as alumni and introduce President Joseph Machine. Thank you very much, Dr. White Ryan, and good afternoon, everyone. I'm thrilled to be part of your diploma ceremony. And it's truly an honor and a pleasure to be speaking at the ceremony for Fordham's highest ranked and most mission aligned school. 
Let's give a round of applause to the nearly 800 2018-2019 academic year graduates from the Graduate School of Social Service. When you received your diploma today, you automatically became members of the Fordham University Alumni Association. And not to worry, this is an inclusive and dues-free group. <clears throat> the association's voice to the university is through a very talented and diverse 24-person advisory board. They meet several times a year to inform and shape and guide our efforts towards alumni engagement across all schools. All told, the Fordham University Alumni Network is now more than 190,000 strong. And looking specifically at GSS, you should know that you are now more than 20,000 living alumni. And while thousands of you live and work in metropolitan New York, you have like-minded brothers and sisters throughout the world. In places that you might expect, like Canada, China, India, or the United Kingdom, as well as in locales that might come as a surprise. Austria, Ethiopia, New Zealand, and Uruguay, just to name a few. And it's through our work in the Office of Alumni Relations that we strive to connect with you, as many of you as possible, in a relationship that's lifelong, meaningful, and symbiotic. And simply put, we want and will be seeking your involvement in ways that are important and significant to you and important and significant to Fordham. And if that sounds a lot like a Venn diagram, that's because it is, and we strive to work in that sweet spot. In fact, there are a myriad of ways that you can stay connected to each other and contribute to the life and vibrancy of GSS and the university, and I'll look forward to working with you towards these ends. So it is on behalf of the long maroon line of Fordham graduates that I wish you congratulations and Godspeed. In the words of St. Ignatius of Loyola, go forth and set the world on fire. <clears throat> Please do keep us posted on your progress, though, because we will be checking. And you may recall that you heard a similar message just yesterday from Tim Shriver at University Commencement. Tim is the chair of the Special Olympics, and he implored you to be your best self, to be brave, and to be a transformer. So now you're armed with these two great pieces of advice offered up some 500 years apart. Finally, more information about our various programs, initiatives, and resources can be found online at forever.fordham.edu, the alumni website. I hope to see many of you back at Lincoln Center on June 12th for the annual GSS Alumni Block Party reunion. Thank you, good luck, and go Rams. I know it's late. I know you're weary. I know your plans don't include me. So this is not going to be read to you. There you go. I was born at night, but not last night. Uh, however, I do want to say a few things. Number one, congratulations. You are now graduates of the university's highest ranked school. <laughs> highest ranked and largest hearted. Hold on to both of those, they're points of pride. Number two, you're the ones who stayed behind. So you have a, a, a really special place in my heart and the heart of all the members of the faculty here. You really, she laughs. It's the truth. Look at this face. Is this face going to lie to you? No, I'm going to tell you the truth. You're right up there in my heart. Third, it's no secret to anyone that your diploma ceremony is the most joyous, the most fun of any of the ceremonies. All the others are staid and boring and bloodless. But if you ever quote me on that, I'll deny I thought it, much less said it. Last, remember what Dr. Coffey said to you. Yours is a profession that is noble, sacred, but draining. Therefore, what I beg you to do is this. 
lead a balanced life. Balanced life. Work, play, family. Very important. Do not burn out. Last thing. I'm going to ask you to stand. I'm going to ask the platform party to stand. And I want you to turn. I want you to turn and face your families. And <laughs> I love these guys. Now, I'm going to ask the faculty and your families to raise their hands in blessing as they look at you with great love and great pride. And I'm going to lead them in this blessing for you. May you have true friends to stand by you, both in joy and in sorrow. May you be ready and willing to help and comfort all those who come to you in need. And may the blessings promised to the compassionate be yours in abundance. May you find happiness and satisfaction in your work. May daily problems never cause you undue anxiety, nor the desire for earthly possessions dominate your lives. May the Lord bless you with many happy years in your ministry, so that you may enjoy the rewards of a good life. And after you have lived to a ripe and happy old age, and served him and his people loyally on this earth, may God at last welcome you to his eternal kingdom in heaven, the home of all the saints, the home to which you are destined. And let the congregation say, Amen.